we welcome uh, the CBI's reported examination and questioning of the former Prime Minister, Dr. Manmohan Singh, who also uh, held the coal ministry portfolio during the UPA term one. And most of the irregularities uh, in coal scam happened during the period when uh, Dr. Manmohan Singh himself was holding the charge of the coal ministry. So uh, I think we, it's, it was the, the CBI had examined or questioned uh, the former prime minister on, uh, on the advice of uh, the CBI special court on November 24th. I think it's it, this arguably coal scam is India's largest scam ever. This and and manifestly, Manmohan Singh's government between 2004 and 2009 was the most corrupt government ever. So the coal scam being the largest scam of independent India and Dr. Manmohan Singh led government being the most corrupt government ever. We find this, I, I think uh, the, it had taken a long time for the investiga investigative agencies to uh, examine, question the former Prime Minister. It has taken a long time primarily because under the UPA rule there was a very, very, I would say, unhidden attempt to shield the political leadership, the then Prime Minister, the then Coal Minister, and all the, uh, more than around 36 FIRs have been filed in the coal scam so far. And in most of the cases, I think the investigation was uh, uh, the investigative agencies probed the companies and their misdeeds. A lot of allotments were made, a lot of companies uh, gave in, uh, non-factual, incorrect information for getting the allotments, and rightly they have all been, uh, they are all being prosecuted. But under the central government led by uh, Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi, I think investigative agencies, be it uh, the CBI or the Enforcement Directorate or any other agency. They, they all have an independent hand and they are working without any, any sort of uh, uh, interference from the government because these investigations, as you all know, the coal scam investigations are happening under the supervision, direct supervision of the Honorable Supreme Court. And a, a su Supreme Court had actually uh, constituted, had, had asked for a constitution of a CBI special court which is examining all cases pertaining to uh, misappropriation, corruption and criminal conspiracy. I think it's impossible, it's inconceivable that a scam of this magnitude could have been perpetrated by private individuals. Certainly there were political actors involved in the whole scam. Certainly there were public officials and the political officials who were responsible for perpetrating this humongous scam on this country. And therefore, I think when, when I look at the FIRs, when we look at the FIRs of different, uh, uh, different uh, uh, cases, I think one gets the impression that the focus had been largely on the beneficiaries of the scam the corporate beneficiaries of the scam, we would like to ask, what about the political beneficiaries of the scam? Why are they not a part? Why were they not a part of the larger mandate to uh, investigate all these scams? So friends, I think this is an uh, investigation happening directly under the directions and supervision of the Honorable Supreme Court. It is the Supreme Court which will take uh, uh, all issues account and direct the investigative agencies accordingly. But as a political party, we think the, pub, the people of India, I think our government, 
led by Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi, wants to restore public confidence in the integrity of a governmental system. And the integrity of the governmental systems, governance system, cannot be restored if you only, if you only prosecute a few uh, uh, companies, individuals, they certainly should be prosecuted, but, but you leave out the entire political beneficiaries, I think that would really be, that would not go down well with the people of the country. And uh, we therefore seek a comprehensive, unbiased, and a expeditious investigation into the coal scam, into all cases concerning the coal scam, because the cases are already, I think, getting delayed, and the Honorable Supreme Court had already, I think, expressed its uh, uh, discontentment regarding this. We hope and we, we uh, certainly uh, seek a very early and expeditious examination of the cases, prosecution of all the real beneficiaries of the coal scam, and uh, and justice so that the people of the country can have trust in the in the in the fairness of our own uh, judicial system the fairness of our prosecution system and the fairness of our governance per se united states and the governments of us and the uk have uh, asked government of pakistan to hand over ziaur rahman lakwi uh, to india